This local sports report is presented by Carolyn Sullivan from Edge Realty Solutions, a proud supporter of Center Wellington Minor Lacrosse. If you're thinking about buying or selling your home, work with a leading realtor in Center Wellington. Contact Carolyn direct at 226-979-2922 and experience the most from your home purchase or sale. Opening night at the Scott Geary Lacrosse Tournament in Fergus. Jackson Forsyth in the U15 Center Wellington Riverhawks looking to start the weekend with a victory. They were facing the Mimico Mountaineers on Friday night and it's the visitors with the first good scoring chance. Jack Wooten is behind the net. He sets it up for a chance in front. Jackson Forsyth with a big save in the early going. He keeps the game scoreless. A few minutes later the Riverhawks strike. Tyler Spears puts it in to open the the scoring. Nice shot from Spears. Center Wellington is up 1-0. Back the other way. Brendan McConvey running the floor. Beauty feed for Kieran Lewis. Good chance. Forsyth coming through with another solid stop. 1-0 CW after the first period. Second frame now. Jackson Forsyth standing on his head. He gets a piece of this shot and reaches back to keep it out. Jackson Forsyth making some terrific saves. But a few minutes later, the Mountaineers break through. Kieran Lewis finding the score sheet. He solves Forsyth scoring the equalizer. We are tied at one. Later it's Mimico with an odd man break. Jack Wooten sends it over to Brendan McConvey. Forsyth delivering once again. Another terrific stop and we stay tied at one. Back to the highlights in a minute. First a reminder. This video is presented by Carolyn Sullivan from Edge Realty Solutions. A proud supporter of CW Minor Lacrosse Cross. Call Carolyn Direct at 226-979-2922. Still in the second, Mimico takes the lead with a power play marker. Caden Clare rips it and scores. He makes it 2-1 for the Mountaineers after two periods. Let's move to the third and more Mimico offense. Kieran Lewis breaking in and his shot just squeaks through. Lewis with his second goal of the night. 3-1 Mimico. Later in the period, Austin Daniels looking to bury one for CW. He is stopped, but watch number two. That's Connor Moore. He comes in and steals it from the Mimico goaltender. That leads to another chance for the Riverhawks. The ball going back to Austin Daniels. He fires another one, and once again he is denied. What a crazy sequence. Finally, George Moussi is getting his stick back. After all that, it remains 3-1 for Mimico. Back Back the other way. This is Mitchell Sutherland with the ball. He finds Jake Dale who finishes in front. Dale makes it 4-1 Mimico and that was the final on Friday night. The Mountaineers beating the Riverhawks in CW. Action continues all weekend long at the CW Sportsplex. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.